Alright boys, what's up? So, after my last video, which was about the Arduino randomizer, right here, or wherever it is, which if you haven't seen it, you should definitely go watch it, quality approved, um, I cleaned up the board, right, and as I was searching for new things to do, right, I stumbled across something that I had in my toolkit this the LCD and I am going to use it to build something interesting a clock like the one that you keep in your room which somehow is possible with all the little amounts of tools that I have and it's going to be like pretty much any other clock it's going to tell you the time and you might even add some extras so let's get started all right, let's get started. Okay, so this is what happens. I'm a pretty stupid person, right? And I made a lot of mistakes during the project, but um, I did like a bunch of stuff like wrong wiring. And at one point I even realized, hold up, I can just change the entire design and do something different. So if you don't want to see me ruin my life for 30 minutes, because it was 30 minutes at first and I had to condense everything, then go ahead and skip to this timestamp that you see on your screen. But if you do, go ahead. If you don't, skip to the timestamp. Have fun. Alright, so now that you see how the robot was built and how the robot should work, let's take a look at the code and what runs the robot. Alright, so let's take a look at our Arduino. So as always, we have the Arduino connected to the LCD, like a normal LCD setup at backlights, everything. And, you know, just does everything like it should. And it also uses two buttons. And that's really all that there is to it on the outside. So when you press the hours button, you see it ups the time by one. So, and the minutes ups the minutes by one. So it's just like your average watch. And that's why it's so simple. It doesn't have to use any special um, real-time module so what it can do is instead it basically acts like your watch when you hit the adjust and then you hit the buttons that's really all you're doing is you're telling the buttons that when they are pressed and that's really all it is so let's look at the code 
Alright, so let's get looking at our code. First up, we have the libraries for our LCD and the special wire library that has additional functionality to the wires. The next thing we do is we attach each, um, we tell the Arduino that each of these um, wires going into the pins are from the LCD. And after that, what we do is we set the contrast for the LCD. Um, the next thing is that it tells it that when it starts up, this is what you have to display at first, which is 12.59 and 45 seconds. Um, the next thing is it defines the time set buttons, which is the hour button and the minutes button. And after that, it gives it the definition, which is what it does every time or what it's going to do every time you press the button. The next thing is this backlight timeout, which is basically after enough seconds, it will um, time out the backlight or just turn off the backlight. Then after that, it here you would use the RTC module, but we do not have a real time clock module. So we just skip that. The next thing is the setup. So here it tells it to turn on the backlight, you know, read the initial value of the RTC if we had one, but we don't, and just do some more um, setup stuff. And this is where the real fun begins, the loop. So first, this LCD begin, which basically tells it that every, and that just starts the LCD up. Here, what would happen is for every cup, for every second, you're going to reset the LCD display and we'll print the time. And the reason I have to reset every second is because each second, the time moves on, right? And um, oh, that's really it here. And then next here is just actually like implementing all of the constants that we define, like what it's supposed to do each time that it resets, like set the time, or if you press a button right here, it will add a digit to the time. And then there's this loop that basic, this is the loop that will manage all of the AMs, PMs, minutes, hours, and seconds. And that is really it. That is all of the code. So that is all I have to say for today. I showed you how the Arduino works, how the code works, and if you're more interested about this project, I will put the link to it in the description. So, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. If you don't, I don't really care. But, adios.